What's up you guys, welcome back. For today's tutorial, I wanted to do a very winter wonderland-esque makeup look, something a little bit more wearable. Even though this is so crazy glam with all of the rhinestones and everything, I still feel like this is wearable because it's not crazy smoky, it's not crazy colorful, it's just very neutral with a lot of sparkles. My inspiration for this look was just when all of those euphoria tutorials and looks were coming out when that show came out, I think it was like two summers ago. That is kind of like what I envisioned for this this look and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you enjoy following the tutorial step by step. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I'm gonna start by priming with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Perfecting. I'm just going to apply this on my skin. This will be a nice base for the foundation. And then for my foundation, I think I'm gonna mix these two together because I don't think I have before, and if I have, it's been a long time. This is the Make It Forever Reboot Foundation and the Dior Forever Foundation. So I'm just gonna mix these together and then apply it on the skin. And I'm in the shade 1.5N in the Dior Foundation and Y315 in the Reboot Foundation from Make It Forever. Also the Forever Foundation from Dior is the matte one. For my concealer, I just tried this the other day and I just loved the way that it looked. It looked really just like airbrushed under my eyes. This is the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. If you've been following me for a while, I used to use the Original and Matte Loose Powder Foundation from Bare Minerals all the time because I actually used to be a manager at one of their boutiques a long time ago. So I really was able to like learn about the foundation, how to apply it. So I was really excited when they came out with the liquid and I was excited because I really ended up liking it. Really blended nicely, gave a nice full coverage, was hydrating and it sets really well. Blending it in, this is a Sigma F03 brush. I'm gonna go into the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This is a liquid highlighter. Popping on the top of the cheekbones, nose and Cupid's bow and then just blend it in with this brush. So I'm just gonna use the H104 powder for Make It Forever and set my under eyes using my Sigma F35 brush. This is really gonna set the concealer into place. I go in with like a decent amount of this powder. I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and really get right here on the sides of the nose and cheek and then also get in between my eyebrows, center of my forehead, and my chin. For bronzer today, I really wanna use the Bronze Goddess Bronzer from Estee Lauder, because I haven't used this in forever. I am in the shade Medium, in case you're curious. This is one of my favorite bronzers because it goes more red-toned rather than super yellow. Picking it up on this Charlotte Tilbury brush, and I'm just bronzing up my skin. Starting with the forehead, carrying it down onto the cheeks and then also down onto the jawline. And I'm really bronzing up today just because I feel kind of washed out with this light blue color and my light skin. I just think this is gonna add a nice sun-kissed glow to my face. I'm gonna go into the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette and I'm gonna take the contour shade and contour my face. I'm gonna start with my cheekbones, move on to my forehead, do the jawline, and then finish with contouring my nose. And for my face, I'm using a Smith 112 brush. And for my nose, I'm using a Luxie 182 brush. Now that I'm all contoured, I'm gonna go into blush. This is the Becca Flower Child blush. It's this like nice light pink color. I'm just applying this with my Sigma F40 onto my cheeks. Just gives that nice pale pinky flush to the face. Forehead, nose, chin, neck. I kind of just bring my blush everywhere. Kind of want to mix a few different highlighters together. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. I'm going to mix these two shades together. Pop this right on the cheekbone. It's going to give a very intense frosty highlight. And then I'm gonna apply it to my nose with my finger, just dot it. Also pop this on the Cupid's bow and then blend this out with the brush. I kinda wanna top it with this MAC highlighter in Let It Glow. It's one of their new holiday highlighters. I just wanna pop this on because it adds a little bit of sparkle, so I'm just pushing it in. You're probably not even gonna be able to tell, but it's just gonna add a little bit of glitter onto the cheekbone. I'm gonna go into the ELF Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is in the 
shade neutral brown and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows this has become probably my favorite brow pencil lately I feel like it just looks so natural it's the perfect color it's easy to blend and it's super inexpensive I'm gonna go in and prime with the painterly paint pot from Mac just pop this on so all of the eyeshadows can stay and lay nicely on the eyes and won't crease throughout the day and then just setting with a little bit of powder and then I'm also going to take this powder underneath my eyes again. Always do this just to re-ensure that this is powdered in case I get any eyeshadow fallout that it won't stick to my under eye. I think I want to use my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I get so many questions on all of the eyeshadows that are in this palette. This is actually a pre-made palette. You can buy this entire thing. So if you're curious what all of these shades are, I will link it down below. I do have a discount code with Makeup Geek. It's just Brianna Fox for 10% off. I'm still getting used to the the names of all of these shadows just because they are in the palette I have to get better at taking them out like this so I can read the names I used to know all of the makeup geek eyeshadow names just by looking at them but since the rebrand I have no idea what the names are it's just gonna take some time for me to get used to all the names and everything I'm gonna create an elongated cat eye fox eye sort of look with this feel free to do a more rounded effect if that's what you prefer I'm gonna start out with creme brulee from makeup geek and I'm gonna take this right here and just start flicking it outwards. I did just do a classic Christmas makeup look where I did a very similar effect to my eyes. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below as well as right up here in the info cards, but I walk you through how to do a more elongated effect step-by-step -step in that. I also have more fox eye and cat eye tutorials that I will link as well if you are curious. But I'm just going to flick this out and then carry it in on the lash line. And then I'm gonna go into Beach Please, which is a cooler toned shade. I will compare them next to each other. This is Creme Brulee and this is Beach Please. Because it's cooler toned, it is a little bit darker because it creates a more shadowy effect. So I'm just kind of adding that in, flicking, and then carrying it on the lash line. I'm going into Latte as usual compared to Beach Please. That is what that one looks like. I'm just kind of slowly deepening up this little flick here. I'm just building up the color, making it a little bit more smoky. I'm gonna go into Dark Roasted and create a wing. This is the Sigma LO6 brush. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna take that creme brulee shade and just kind of sweep this across the lid and in the crease and just kind of connect it out into this little point area here. Just like that. Also gonna take this underneath the lash line, connect it out into the wing. And now I'm just taking that color and kind of carrying it into this outer corner like this. Just kind of deepening up the outer area here. And then taking any of the fluffier brushes and just blending that out. I'm adding in a little bit of Honey Badger, which is a little bit warmer and I'm mixing it in a little bit with the Creme Brulee shade. And I'm just really kind of bringing this in right here just to add a little bit of warmth. For my eyelids, I'm gonna go into the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. It's a tongue twister. In the shade Flash and Dance. It looks like this, it is beautiful. I'm just gonna take this and apply it directly on the inner part of the lid. I'm just kind of flicking it into the outer area so it'll kind of just like fade into nothing. I also avoided the darkest part at the lash line so it kind of looked like liner. I am gonna grab that MAC highlighter that I used on my face and I'm just going to hit that right up on the brow bone. So now I'm gonna go into these Swarovski crystals that I got on Amazon and I have this little application tool that came with it and I have the Duo Brush On Adhesive in clear and I'm just gonna apply these rhinestones all over my eyes and just create kind of like a euphoria sporadic rhinestone look on the eyes. So it's cool because with this tool you can just pick it up right on it so you don't have to worry about your fingers and your nails and picking it up and stuff and tweezers are extremely difficult so then you can pick it up grab your glue and just paint it on the back this is very tedious it takes forever because you need that to get a little tacky and then you can stick it on the eye i'm gonna try dotting the glue and then going in with the rhinestone and see if that works better there we go that's what you gotta do I'm 
I'm just kind of applying them all over. Kind of made it sort of wing out a little bit. And now for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna grab that lip brush that I used to create that wing and just apply whatever's left over on it right at the bottom lash line and connect it to that wing. Go in with one of the fluffy brushes and just blend that out. I'm gonna use the darkest eyeshadow and create the inner wing. Follow the upper lash line, carry it in. I think I'm gonna darken up the waterline. I'm gonna go into Costa Riche from MAC. It's like a reddish toned eyeliner. Apply this in the waterline. I'm not gonna smudge this down too much. I'm just gonna keep it right there in the waterline really precisely. And then I'm just gonna use that fluffy brush and just blend this out. I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna use the MAC Extended Play Mascara and just apply this on the lashes. And also just lightly touching these bottom lashes. So I have these Ardell Wispy Lashes that I used in a look. What I'm gonna do is kind of cut these up and apply them in little chunks so that I can create a more winged effect. So I'm gonna cut them into threes. So each eye will have three little chunks. Okay, so I'm kind of applying them like pretty far above my natural lash line just so it can kind of like wing upwards. Lashes are on, I just kind of like cut them up into multiple pieces and applied it just to the outer parts. I didn't apply anything to the inner part just so it can create that shape. And now for my lips, I'm gonna go into more of a pinky nude sort of lip combo. I normally keep it more peachy beige. This is an old lip liner from Makeup Forever. They don't carry it anymore, but I'm sure they have something very equivalent. This was just the perfect shade. This is the Aqua Lip Lip Pencil in 22C. I'm just going to line and overline my lips, just like this, and then fill it in. See, this is a lot more pinky than I normally would do, but I really think this kind of like goes with my shirt. Just a little bit more pinky, bubble gummy. I'm gonna deepen up the edges just a little bit. I'm gonna use Boldly Bare from MAC to do that. And just take this on the outer corners. It's a little bit more peachy. I think I'm gonna use this one from Revlon. It's the Demure lip color in 683. Applying that all over. Gives like a nice sheen to the lips, but it's not too like shimmery or too glossy either. It's a nice satin finish. All right, so I just changed out the earrings. These are from Windsor. I just felt like this really went with the whole vibe. This to me just looks like winter wonderland. I just love this look. It's so pretty. And even though it's so overboard with all of the rhinestones, I still feel like this is pretty wearable because it is so neutral and not crazy smoky. But that's everything for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you enjoyed watching how I got this look. If you end up recreating Creating this, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your look and let me know all of your holiday video requests down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.